Laura Mitchell and I'm reporting to you live from the Digital Health Summit at CES in the studio. And with me here today, I have Liz Dickinson who is the uh, Mio Global CEO. So tell us, tell us what Mio Global is. Well, Mio is actually a company that's dedicated to providing fitness solutions for people to help them achieve their goals in health, wellness, and we do that by providing wearable devices okay. that uh, track interesting biometric data like heart rate, for example. Okay, so tell me, tell me, you know, I see all these connected health devices all around. Tell me what makes Mio a little different from the others and, 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 and what you're specifically doing here at CDS. Well, I think that Mio is best known for the fact that we introduced continuous heart rate monitoring oh, okay. that works accurately, even at performance exercise speeds, on the wrist. Nobody was able to do that. We launched that product in 2012. Wow. And everyone said it couldn't be done. So it was really a, a hugely significant event in the whole health industry when somebody was able to put heart rate monitoring on the wrist right. without a chest strap. And now you can see that everybody has embraced this technology. We've licensed our technology to many other companies like uh, Adidas, like Garmin. So, you know, we have some great partners and uh, it's really, I think, changed the way that everyday people can interact with their health because they now can get a snapshot of their health just by looking at their wearable on their wrist. Right, and let me see what that looks like. So this is our uh, Mio Fuse product, and uh, to turn on the heart rate, I just have to um, press down on the unit, and okay. within a couple of seconds, my heart rate is displayed. So it's really simple to use. You don't have to wear a cumbersome chest strap. Right. But that's not really the news around what we're doing this year. What we're doing is actually making sense of heart rate. So we actually launched our product for the athlete because athletes understand heart rate monitoring and they you know, know how to use it to improve their uh, fitness. But what I learned is when I put a Mio onto a person that was just like an everyday individual, although they're super interested about what this number means, nobody really knows what that right. meant. Right. So if you see 88 here, what does that mean? Do you know that if that's good for me or bad for me or if that yeah. was shown on you, what would that mean? So what we have accomplished is creating a metric that makes sense of heart rate in a very simple way for the everyday person. We now have a way to tell somebody, hey, just keep your score, which is called a personal activity intelligence score, at 100. And uh, if you do that, you've optimized your protection against cardiovascular disease. Okay, so where do you see this industry going? I mean, where do you see digital health going? Well, that's exactly um, the point that I'm making is that digital health needs to get to a place where it is meaningful to the individual consumer. Right now, you can trend heart rate, you can uh, trend your steps, you can look at how you know your activity has been, etc. But what you really don't understand is what that means. And that's why what we're releasing here, Pi, right. is so critical. Because it's based um, on you as an individual, it's customized to you, and uh, we now can tell somebody exactly the right amount of exercise for them based on their personal response to exercise. Well, excellent. This is Mio Global. Where can they find you online? You can find us at MioGlobal.com. Laura Mitchell reporting to you live from the Digital Health Summit Studio. Ooh.